their faculty, family members, friends, and of course, resident of the 2021 class. Congratulations on your graduation. You're graduating in a trying and sad times. To those of you who have lost their loved one in recent weeks, please accept my deepest condolences. One cannot control circumstances, but one can't control the response. The pandemic has changed the way we walk, the way we communicate, and as we are seeing today, even the way we celebrate graduation. But it has not changed who you are, has not changed what you achieve, and has not changed the expertise that you develop here. You come out of this crisis more resilient, better equipped to deal with the adversity and operate in difficult, unusual conditions. We physicians often delude ourselves by thinking it is we who determine our patient fates. I found that this notion is only half of the truth. Physicians are often shaped and changed by the patient. Countless patients have taught me transformative, multifaceted lessons during my long career. They have taught me about dignity in the face of indignity, about living the while being stuck by death, about fighting battles no one knows how to win. It is enabling when patients confronted with extraordinary difficulties do not succumb to despair or bitterness. Be there for them. So, class of 2021, the graduation does not mark the end of anything, but the beginning of another chapter in your life. So, congratulations. It was an absolute privilege to have known you and to have walked with all of you. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Welcome to the Department of Anesthesiology class of 2021 graduation ceremony. I would like to congratulate each of you on your well-deserved accomplishment. God knows it was not easy, but you did it through a pandemic that pushed each of us to truly honor our oath to help patients in their most vulnerable time, through the social unrest that tested our longstanding and deeply rooted belief in fairness and equity. You, class of 2021, has shown that you were able to hold dear to your commitment to provide the best care for our patient and for our community in the midst of all that turmoil. With our department's second virtual graduation celebration, it is fitting that your effort these past three years, your dedication to patient care, to learning, to leadership, be recognized. And the steadfastness that you have shown during your time here with us at NGM. I believe that all that transpired these past three years have undoubtedly made you the anesthesiologist that our profession call for today. It is my distinct honor to speak on behalf of Dr. Boaha on this day that signified the completion of his residency training at New Jersey Medical School. I first met Dr. Borahara when he decided to pursue residency in anesthesiology. I interviewed him in my capacity as residency program director. I knew immediately that he would be a perfect fit for our program. I thus rank him high in our rank list and we were fortunate to actually have him match with us. I mean, he's now graduating and has grown into a well-trained anesthesiologist. His evaluation from his rotation in chronic pain management are definitely the most remarkable that I have seen a resident receive for that service. He performed extremely well during his month in the acute pain service and the regional anesthesia rotation. Comments from faculty that evaluated him are only complimentary. Dr. Gubenko said, I mean, that he is one of the best residents he has ever had. Dr. Disipola also said that his work was outstanding during the regional anesthesia rotation and acute pain. Dr. Burara received the highest score in the last in-training examination. I am truly proud to have been a part of his professional training. My only regret is that we were supposed to play soccer together, but we never had a chance these past three years. I guess you will never know how good of a soccer player he is. What I know is that this is going to be an excellent anesthesiologist. Dr. Burara will be entering private practice in Ohio this coming July. Congratulations, Amin. Uh... 
It's always an honor to be asked to speak about a resident at their graduation ceremony. Trying to put someone's three-year experience into a few words is always difficult. That being said, what I will share is the letter I wrote for Room in support of his fellowship. It is my absolute pleasure to have been asked to write a letter of recommendation for Dr. Shanagiri, who is applying for a position as a pain management fellow. While he truly enjoys the intellectual challenges of anesthesiology, I know through our conversations that he is missing the continuity of care that an office-based practice such as outpatient pain management would afford him. It is important to Varun to develop relationships with patients, getting to really know them as individuals. While he understands the multimodal nature of our specialty, he's exhibited an ability to quickly pick up nuances of working under fluoroscopy for procedures. I envision him becoming not just proficient, but excelling at interventional techniques during his fellowship. Varun will be the one wanting to learn the most advanced, cutting-edge procedures, not just the basics. He has shown a strong academic curiosity as well. During the year and a half that he has been with the department, Varun has showed the lead author of four poster presentations at national meetings. The last one relating to one of my patients that we had worked up with was selected for an oral presentation at the recent ASRA pain section meeting. We are currently writing this up for submission to the journal Pain Physician. Varun has been one of the strongest residents to come through my service in several years. He isn't just an excellent clinician, He's a good person, someone I really enjoy working with. It has been my honor to be one of your mentors, Varun. Congratulations. I would like to say a few words about Dr. Dennis. Dan has worked really, really hard these past three years. His leadership abilities are quite remarkable. He is an assuming works hard, and can always be relied on. His selection to be one of our chief residents was spot on. I truly believe that you will do well then. I know that you will represent our program anywhere you go. Good luck, my friend. To my classmates, colleagues, teachers, family, and friends, thank you for making the past three years of our medical training more rewarding and more enjoyable. Residency is never an easy time, and working through the middle of the pandemic obviously put immeasurable strain on our lives at home and at work during an already difficult time. I want to thank my classmates for their collegiality, camaraderie, and dedication, always willing to step up to the plate and help each other out. I want to thank my attendings for their endless dedication to helping us grow as anesthesiologists. I want to thank our program administration, in particular Dr. Eloy, Dr. Becker, and Lisa Chappelle, for the endless work they put in not only to keep our program running smoothly, but also in their vision to improve NJMS into a top residency for future anesthesiologists. I want to thank my family, especially my wife and my parents, for their patience and their support over the past eight years of medical training. And most importantly, although they cannot be here today with us, I want to thank all the patients I've treated over the years who allowed me to participate in their medical care. Thank you for allowing me to learn and grow as a physician. When I think back to the first time I met Romy Fontura, I remember an energetic young lady wearing a white coat with pockets full of books and medical supplies trailing a group of other residents in the hallways of Hackensack Medical Center. Yep, she was a surgery resident and it didn't take her long to realize that she was oh so much better than that. So she chose anesthesiology as her career. Three years ago, I was thrilled when I got to work with her in the operating room for the first time as an anesthesia resident. Oftentimes, a new anesthesiology resident is so overwhelmed by being in the operating room that they just fumble and stand around not knowing what to do. Not Romy. She, as they say, took the bull by the horns and started running, and has never stopped. Romy needed nothing more than a deep breath and a set of vital signs and she was ready to delve into any case presented to her. She was adept at IVs from day one. She evaluated her patients preoperatively like a seasoned attending. She took on challenging cases despite no previous experience. She wanted to learn. She wanted to prove she could do it. She wanted to be the best that she could be. And you know what? She did. 
Romy has shown to all of us that she is more than ready to take on her role as an anesthesia attending. Her family can be proud of her as we all are. She has worked hard but never complained about the workload. She's accepted the challenges of a medical career and has blossomed in the operating room. On top of all that, Romy has never stopped being the best mother and wife she could be. She always speaks so highly of her children and her husband and is grateful for the sacrifices they've made for her. And she's even taken on another role as a new mother. I'm sure Romy will shine like the ray of sunshine that she is when she begins her new career as an attending anesthesiologist in a few months. There's a confident, capable, and proficient young lady who soon will be gracing the halls of Englewood Hospital. There's no doubt that she's going to dazzle them with her abilities and her command of the operating room. They didn't know just how lucky they are, but they soon will find out. Romy, it has been an absolute pleasure to work with you, and I wish you nothing but the best. It is now my honor to speak on behalf of Dr. Mina Gabala. I have known Mina before I interviewed him for a position in our program. I was truly delighted when he matched with us. It turned out that I became his mentor during these past uh, three years. Dr. Gabala exemplified the qualification of not only an excellent resident, but also those of a very good anesthesiologist. He is hardworking, always jovial, always willing to help. He never complains, give 100% every time. He is the person that you want near you when the case is not going well. I like Mina. I was definitely delighted when I heard that he will be staying with us for an additional year as the incoming interventional pen fellow in our program. Congratulations, Mina, and may you never change. Thank you so much, Dr. Eler, for your kind introduction. We are virtually gathered here today to celebrate the completion of this incredible milestone in our career. Over the past three years, we had the pleasure of working alongside and learning from numerous great faculty members and fellow residents. I thank God for the opportunity to be part of this NJMS anesthesia family, where I met outstanding role models and made lifelong friends. From day one, when the thought of putting someone to sleep for surgery terrified us, we had a strong support system in both our co-residents and our attendings. This constant support fostered an environment of learning that allowed us to get to this point of graduating with the confidence of knowing we can be independent practicing anesthesiologists. Although this might feel like the end of a long journey, we are only at the beginning. Our road on this journey merged three years ago, and now it splits again 12 different ways. However, one thing I'm confident of is that as we proceed to become PGY-5s, PGY-6, and so on, we will continue to have the same support system we had throughout the past three years. There will be times when we run into situations of uncertainty, and we will have these great role models consistent, consisting of our attendings and each other only a phone call away. I will certainly miss being able to look next to me in Anesthesia Resident Lounge and talk to you guys about the difficulties we face every day, whether from the surgeons we work with or whether it's from lack of sleep. With that being said, I hope this atmosphere of camaraderie and support continues with the guidance of the upcoming senior residents. Luckily for me, I get to stay for an additional year and continue being a part of this family. You guys are not getting rid of me that easily. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Matt Leberer. Matt is one of our outstanding graduating residents and in his three years here at New Jersey Medical School, he has distinguished himself as a fantastic clinician, excellent team player, and a thoughtful, hardworking resident. Matt is always willing to go the extra mile and is one of those residents that you know can provide high level care for any case that he encounters. Dr. Leberer worked in computer technology as a project manager and network administrator in Arizona 
prior to obtaining a master's at Drexel and graduating medical school in Philadelphia. He has accepted a position with Valley Anesthesia Group in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we know he will be an excellent private practice physician. Congratulations on your graduation from residency to Dr. Matt Leber. Hi, everyone. I'm honored to have the chance to present a graduation speech for Michael Doogie. Michael joined our residency program after graduating from Rutgers University Medical School. At first, I noticed he is a very quiet resident. Well, he is so quiet that most attending did not notice him for several months. He started to attract my attention at one of my lectures when most residents had their eye half closed Michael was the one who had his eye wide open and was listening to my boring talk very tentatively. It was then that I realized Michael had a strong desire to learn anesthesiology. Over the years, when Michael rotated at UH, I find him to be very hard worker and also a quick learner. I never have to teach him twice. He always pick up the technique the second time and does even better the third round. Also, he still maintains his quietness even as he advanced to senior year. He eventually was recognized as the resident who never complained our tough schedule and volunteered to stay late to help others. Michael is truly a team player. Michael is one of the residents who always complete his clinic and academic task on time with his best effort. Michael also remained modest and listened to critics with a very positive attitude. His anesthesia knowledge and the clinic skill progressed towards the superior level every year. Despite my mixed feeling that I cannot ask him to carry the beeper for trauma, pain management, regional, OB, and PACU simultaneously, I was very happy knowing that he ready to fly solo in private practice in Los Angeles in the near future. Michael, we are very appreciative that you chose our Rutgers residency program. Thank you for the dedication, hard work, and the contribution to our department. I'm very proud of you as one of Rutgers 2021 grads. We sincerely hope that you success your career as an anesthesiologist. Please bring our best wishes to all our former residents in California. Thank you all. I would like to pass my warm welcome to everyone during this graduation tonight. I'm honored to present to you my fellow comrade and our graduate, Dr. Novikova. When I put these words together, I realized how close her life story is to the one of my own, in a way that she does not settle for less and always strives for success. Her unique story starts from Mother Russia, where she graduated from first Moscow State Medical University. For those who don't know, it's Russian equivalent of Harvard School of Medicine. She had the brightest future in front of her in Mother Russia, but it would have been too easy for her. Instead, she decided to heroically escape her M Moscow Dolce Vita and move to the great United States of America and start her life from scratch. Her great appetite for knowledge and determination helped her to promptly pass all of her USMLEs and survive general surgery internship before joining our department. 
Dr. Novikova has many poster presentations at multiple meetings with the winning first place abstract presentation at NJSSA meeting last June. She earned her respect among fellow residents and faculty for her empathy and kindness, constant concern for her patients, being responsible and respectful. She's a hard worker and always open to learn more. Her accomplishments should make her family and loved ones all very proud. As ready as you are, Anya, to graduate, I'm wishing you best of luck from the bottom of my heart. Anya will be joining private practice in Maryland upon her graduation. Enjoy your evening, everyone, and congratulations to all. James Schiffenhaus. When I hear that name, I think of three words, integrity, professionalism, and likability. It's always a pleasure to work with the anesthesiology residents when they rotate through our hospital. Occasionally, one makes an indelible impression on us and we will never forget them. Case in point, James Schiffenhaus. James started out with a bang. Well, it was more of a quiet bang as he didn't say much, but he made impressions on a number of us and over the course of a few months, we were all blown away by his prowess in the operating room and his ability to assimilate what he learned and then apply it to new and more challenging cases. Why do I think of the word integrity? For starters, he's honest and hardworking. He takes his duty seriously and when he's in the operating room, I'm sure that all of you will agree that he is always working at 100%. It's uncanny how many of our surgeons have come up to me and complimented him. Even as a resident, he commands respect from those around him. Professionalism. He treats his patients and his colleagues like they are his own family. In three years, I've never heard anyone saying anything bad about James. And if I did, I'd be the first to defend him. He is someone whose capabilities I trust implicitly. If a friend or family member came to the operating room and James was there with them, I would be completely at ease. Likeability. This one is pretty much self-explanatory. That infectious smile, his humble nature, his ability to laugh at the worst jokes, and his sincerity are among the many attributes that make James one of the best residents I've had the opportunity to work with over the years. I'm sure you will agree that he is a friend to all. James is heading to Montefiore to pursue a cardiac fellowship. We are hoping that he decides to come back and join us at Hackensack when he's finished. There will be a ribbon cutting ceremony there in a few years and we need somebody to hold the scissors. James, the invitation stands. You're always welcome back at Hackensack Medical Center. Hello everyone. I'm Jamie Shivenhouse, one of the third year residents graduating this year. I just wanted to take a few minutes to thank all of those who helped my fellow residents and I get to this point. First, I would like to thank Dr. Eloy. Dr. Eloy, you deserve so much more than just a thanks from us. You're a true advocate for your residents and fight for the things that they want, no matter how big the ask. And you do this while somehow also logging more time in the OR than maybe any anesthesiologist I've ever met. Despite a busy schedule, you still took every one of my evening phone calls to vent about my frustration of the day. We are all better physicians and future coworkers because of you. It was great to see a department chair who invested so much of his time in the OR teaching with didactics, offering career guidance, and helping us to network throughout our training. And on top of all of that, he threw some fantastic parties. To the faculty, we wouldn't be here without all of you as our mentors and teachers. Thank you for your time, your wisdom, and helping us to shape the anesthesiologist that we've become. Thank you to our coordinators and administrative staff for working hard to keep us all in check. I can only imagine what managing a department would entail during a pandemic. I'm sorry if maybe we need one, two, or even three remi reminder emails to get things done. Thank you to our anesthesia techs for showing us the ropes early on and then continuing to support us throughout our residency. You guys have saved our tails more times than I can count. And lastly, to my fellow residents, 
I want to say I'm proud to be graduating with, with you all. Our training was, needless to say, unique. Unimaginable experience made all the difference. For me as chief, it was difficult at times. But I think in a different program, with different fellow residents, I would have actually lost my marbles. You guys were hardworking, and it made Dan and my job much easier. I enjoyed the camaraderie, and I wish that we could have had more time and events together. So cheers to our future get-togethers. Thank you all. I'm pleased to introduce Katrin T. Hurt, member of 2021 graduating class of the anesthesiology residency at Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. After graduating from Bryn Mawr College, Katrin went to medical school at the University of Pennsylvania, an achievement in and of itself. Then she was matched to one of the best residency program in the country. Must be because Dr. Batia and I practice here. Katrin and I spent three very fast years working together, and she proved to be very knowledgeable, skillful, and reliable person. We worked together on a very complicated cases, both in upper room and ICU, also preparing excellent grand round presentations. By the time it was here, third year, I felt comfortable enough to leave Katrin alone in the room, knowing that the patient will, would be under the same level of care that I provide. Katrin, as you move on to your regional fellowship, fellowship at the University of Pittsburgh, I would like to share some advice. Accept the challenges that will be thrown your way and learn from the difficulties that you will face. It will not always be easy. There will be ups and downs, but you have displayed to me countless times that you are capable anesthesiologists. The knowledge you have gained here puts you in the best position to withstand those hard times and use the good times to achieve great outcomes. Once again, my deepest congratulations on your graduation. I'm incredibly pleased to present Dr. Jennifer Omigo on this special day. Jennifer, congratulations on your well-deserved success. I'm sure today will be only the first of many proud moments for you. I still remember the first time we were together, which was in OR5, when I took over ongoing case on late afternoon. You were smiling, and the first word you said to me, I heard you a very nice attending. Since then, I have many occasions to work with Jennifer in the operating room, labor rooms, inter intensive care unit, and classrooms. And her always show herself to be dutiful, conscientious, and reliable. Her achievement during the three years have been wonderful and impressive, which will help her in her professionalism in the future. Jennifer, I believe that you will be continue to shine in the future. High pay graduation and the best visit for your next journey. Dr. Adam Work is an exceptional anesthesiologist who works incredibly hard and in a diligent manner. I remember first meeting Adam when he was a first year resident and quickly learned that he grew up in my town of Randolph, which is how I knew he had a great pedigree. He learned his strong work ethic and discipline, however, through his career in the military prior to his anesthesia residency. One of the best compliments I believe a physician can give another is the referral of a family member. And I would gladly request that Dr. Work take care of any of my family members as an anesthesiologist. During his time at NJMS, he has distinguished himself as a hardworking team player capable of performing any case and working well under pressure. Adam has accepted a position at Chilton Medical Center. We know that he will do well as a practicing anesthesiologist 
and it is my pleasure to introduce him as a graduating member of the class of 2021. As you know, we only have one pain fellow, so it's an intense year of one-on-one -on -one training with myself, Dr. Klopings, and Mpanza. Dr. Brand has been the glue of our service this year, helping to organize the flow of the office and in the procedural suite. I do call her my peripheral brain. She has an easygoing manner. I have not seen her get flustered at all this year. This will be a great asset during her career since our patient population can, at times, be trying. I am proud to welcome her into our band of pain physicians. Please don't forget that we are still here for you just to call away. Don't feel since you're going into a practice where you'll be the only pain physician that you're alone. I always say that we're an extended family. Also, I want to say mazel tov on your upcoming wedding, uh, COVID delayed but ready to happen uh, this July. Once again, for myself, Dr. Zampanza and Kloping, Lisa White and the entire staff, we want to congratulate you on a job well done. I would like to thank all the attendings, residents, and staff that I've had the opportunity to work with over the past year. In particular, I'd like to give a shout out to Drs. Kaufman, Kloping, and Mpanza for all of your mentorship and guidance. It has been a pleasure returning to NJMS for my fellowship. I hope to stay in touch as I am not going far. Next is the presentation of the Department of Anesthesiology Golden Apple Teaching Award. This award recognizes the teaching efforts of faculty by our resident at Port Girls and Jersey Medical School, Hackensack University Medical Center, and Englewood Hospital Medical Center, and also at St. Barnabas Medical Center. Receiving a Golden Apple Teaching Award is one of the most appreciated time in a teacher's life and is incredibly motivational. Once again, this year, the residents are honoring four teachers, one from each institution. The following is the summary of the qualities of, and characteristics of the Golden Apple teacher. As paraphrased from the American Medical Student Association mission statement, the Golden Apple teacher is committed to improving health care and health care delivery to all people, promoting active improvement in medical education, involving the social, moral, and ethical obligation of the profession of medicine, contributing to the welfare of medical students, interns, and residents, and advancing the profession of medicine. And now, our chief resident will announce the recipient of this year's Golden Apple Award. We present this year's Golden Apple Excellence in Teaching Award for Englewood Hospital to Dr. Nisha Gandhi. Dr. Gandhi has been teaching our residents rotating at the Englewood ICU for almost 10 years, and this award is definitely well-deserved. Despite the long hours and sometimes endless rounds of discussing the etiologies of hypernatremia, our residents always rave about their experience at Englewood. Attendings like Dr. Gandhi are the reason why. She is passionately dedicated to not only her patients, but the education of her residents. I can personally say that my two months at Englewood were some of the most rewarding of my time in residency. Thank you, Dr. Gandhi, for all that you do. Dear graduates, you did it. Working in the ICU is like working in the trenches. It's trial by fire. What we went through was hell. We experienced a truly singular moment in the history of medicine and the world. The past 15 months, you have been on the front lines. There were times that we had no idea how dangerous this virus was to us, and yet you all stepped up, faced the challenges, stepped out of your comfort zones of the OR, thought outside of the proverbial box, and became intensivists in makeshift ICUs, whether you wanted to or not. You saved countless lives um, where they're providing comfort to those that we could not save and consoled at times what felt like hundreds of grieving families. You did this all with determination, dedication, and sure. compassion. I know there will be other challenges ahead, but I know that you have been very well prepared to face them. It has been my honor and privilege to work with you, share this journey with you. I'm humbled to receive the Golden Apple Award in teaching. Thank you. And of course, I couldn't leave you without a quote. This is from poet Amanda Gorman. When this ends, we'll smile sweetly, finally seeing. In testing times, we became the best of things. Congrats and good luck. Please stay in touch. You will always have me in your corner. 
Thank you, and may the force be with you always. We present this year's Golden Apple Excellence in Teaching Award for Hackensack University Medical Center to Dr. Andrew Hummel. I could go on for hours about all the amazing things residents have to say about Dr. Hummel or how genuinely pleasant it is to work with him or just how great of a human he is in general. I think the best example I can give of what it's like to work with Dr. Hummel is the reaction that most residents have when they learn that he'll be there attending for a 24-hour shift. A legitimate, audible sigh of relief. 24-hour calls at Hackensack can be extremely taxing, but they never seem as daunting when working with Dr. Hummel. He's positive, he's patient, he's supportive, and most of all, he's the attending you want to grab a beer with outside of the hospital. Thank you for being awesome and for making work feel less like work. I'm humbled by this award today as it comes from people who I admire and respect so much. I take my job as an attending anesthesiologist and as a teacher seriously, and I truly enjoy working with all the residents. While my philosophy is that everyone should strive to do their best, and that means studying for exams and reading textbooks and articles as much as possible, there's also a part of me that believes there are a lot of intangible things that need to be taught to our residents things that aren't written in textbooks or outlined in an abstract. I'm talking about learning to work with others, or dealing with conflicts in a professional and respectable manner, or understanding that in order to keep a department cohesive, there are sacrifices that everyone needs to make, and that those sacrifices should not be taken for granted. I try to show the residents that there is so much more to being an anesthesiologist than just what's written in black and white. I do things to set an example, and I'm honored when I hear that the residents enjoy working with me. One day, I'm going to retire, and it's my hope that the residents of today will remember me when they are teaching their own residents in years to come. Thank you again. I am truly honored. We present this year's Golden Apple Excellence in Teaching Award for St. Barnabas Medical Center to Dr. Christina Pamar. A long time attending at St. Barnabas, our residents first started working with Dr. Pamar in 2019 when we began our obstetrical anesthesiology rotation there. Shifts and calls on the OB floor at Barnabas can be ridiculously busy, but residents are always happy when they see Dr. Pamar is on the schedule for the day. And it's not just because of the delicious food she orders when she's on call. She constantly challenges our OB anesthesia knowledge, from routine epidurals to challenging C-sections on complex patients. She teaches us not only what the textbooks say about OB anesthesia, but real-world scenarios which undoubtedly make our residents more prepared in their future practice. Congratulations, Dr. Pamar. We are honored to present you with this award and hope future residents continue to learn from you for years to come. I am so honored to receive this Golden Apple Award. This means so much to me. I would like to call on the anesthesiology residents that worked with me. A teacher can only impart the knowledge and skills commensurate to the openness and willingness of the recipients of such efforts. It has been my privilege to have interacted with you in a way that we work towards the advancement of our field of endeavor. And I am grateful for that privilege. I hope that in the near future, we can proudly stand together and say we contributed to each other's growth, not only professionally, but also ethically and morally. I wish you all the best that this world can offer and pray that you all will be blessed with lives that will be accomplished and fulfilled. Thank you. And finally, we present this year's Golden Apple Excellence in Teaching Award for University Hospital to Dr. Ross Moore. Our program's residents have the pleasure of working with Dr. Moore from the outset of our training. Dr. Moore always seems to have an upbeat, encouraging attitude when working with us. I know many of us have had the experience of working with Dr. Moore on our regional anesthesia rotation, successfully completing a block with him, and hearing him enthusiastically cheering us on. Despite having to teach us different forms of anesthesia essentially from scratch, he is still genuinely excited and proud of us when things start to click. 
His love for anesthesia is infectious and makes us excited to come to work. Thank you, Dr. Moore, for your support and positivity. We promise to pay it forward as we move on in our careers. Residents, I'm very grateful to all of you for honoring me with the Golden Apple Award. As faculty members, we all strive to help residents in their educational efforts. This is truly a great honor for me. A number of the residents were very appreciative of my work with them on key words. I was very happy to coach them on these topics. I believe key words can be a very important tool to prepare residents for the written and oral boards. The idea, of course, is to discuss one keyword topic consistently every day so that over time a lot of material is covered. This educational activity can make a real difference for the residents. Actually, preparing for the keyword discussions has also been a great review for myself and has helped improve my anesthesia knowledge. I'm sure this is true for my colleagues as well. I believe this concept and will continue to work to make this program successful. I tried to do some research on the history of keyword preparation for anesthesia boards. The internet credits 56 residents at Yale University around 2009 with, keyword, with a keyword review book. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, when I was a resident, we had Big Blue by Niels Jensen. It was a collection of topics similar to keywords. It had numerous inaccuracies and was not complete. However, I still found it to be especially useful in my preparation for the board exams. I enjoy working with residents on the regional team and have always tried to impart as much knowledge as I can when I work with them. I hope this helps them enjoy regional anesthesia as much as I do. Finally, I wish good luck to the, this year's graduating class. Over the years, I jokingly asked residents if they were having fun. I often did this when I thought they were bored or doing it an exceedingly hard case. At this point, I just want to wish those difficult periods are few and far between and the good times in your new profession be the norm. It is now time for me to thank our outgoing chief. While I understand that you did not expect to have to work with me as your program director, you are however the perfect choices for the job. Jamie, <laughs> I know you might have a I felt frustrated by my constant demand. You may have felt exhausted by the incessant requests coming from your classmate, which at times probably felt you felt were unreasonable. But you handled them. You had to deal with side directors. And I could hear the desperation and frustration in your voice, in your text. But you managed them and never lost strength. Side so of the larger picture, thank you for putting up with all that. Now that you are moving on to bigger and greater things, please don't forget the little people you are leaving behind. I really, really feel grateful to have had you as one of the chief residents this year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would like to say that Dr. Shivan Harris will be starting Adult Cardiothoracic Anesthesia Fellowship at Albert Einstein University Medical Center. Then, you are the choir chief. You are the good parent, I presume, uh, the one that the kids went to when the other parents said no. I truly enjoy working with you then. You advocated for your resident, and uh, you were always non-confrontational. The good shepherd. You are definitely were the good cop. It is my belief that Jamie and you made the perfect team. You showed understanding and concern for your colleagues and did not question their motive. Even then, when it was ridiculously really obvious. I hope you had imparted some of that common sense to our incoming chief resident. Dr. Dennis will be starting fellowship training in adult cardiothoracic anesthesia at Westchester New York Medical Center this coming July.
The Chair's Award recognizes the academic achievement of our resident. I feel honored to acknowledge the success of a resident who attained highest score in his or her exam. I would like to present this award to Dr. Buhara. In addition to being a superb learner, he has established himself as a hardworking member of the team dedicated to patient care. Congratulations and thank you. At this time, I would like to make a few remarks about substance abuse in anesthesiology. A few years ago, I recruited Justin to be one of our anesthesiology residents. I did not know uh, of his struggles with substance abuse. He was booming with life, very bright, the model of the perfect okay. resident. In my mind, he was going to be uh, one of our administrative chief residents. Then came the call from uh, HUMC. Justin was found in the call room by another resident, unresponsive. He was intubated there by a co-resident. How tragic. How devastating. We will never forget Justin's life, and we are committed to a culture of wellness, even though the pandemic has made it hard. We continue to remember Justin's tragic loss because it reminds us to always take care of our colleagues by listening to and providing comfort to one another because we are a team and we should care for each other. The recipient of the annual Justin Myers Resident Wellness Award must demonstrate dedication to well-being of their peers. And those are the, the following attributes. Social skills, excellent work-life balance, positive engagement with colleagues, commitment to the community, and global outreach, extracurricular activities, as much as possible given COVID. As such, Dr. Jennifer Umeyugo has been selected by her peers for this year's annual Justin Myers Readiness Wellness Award for her dedication to resident wellness. Congratulations, Jen. This is such an honor. I'm very touched that you would think I deserve this type of award. I've genuinely enjoyed uh, having you guys as co-residents and developing friendships that will last beyond graduation. We've welcomed parenthood and marriages and experienced injuries and illnesses over the past three years that have made us appreciate each other more. Through a physically and emotionally taxing pandemic that made it nearly impossible for us to socialize the way we would have liked to last year, I still felt that we could fully rely on each other for support. You're all hardworking, kind, and just good people, and I want to thank you all for contributing to my wellness. I wish you all the best. It is my honor to present this year's Dr. Albert Shi Award. In recognition of Albert P. Shi, MD, and his 26 years of outstanding service to the Department of Anesthesiology at UMDNJ and New Jersey Medical School, our department established in 2002 the Albert P. Shi Humanitarian Award. The award is presented every year by the anesthesiology faculty to the senior resident who best exemplifies Dr. Shi's unfailing primary dedication to patient care and selfless work ethic of congeniality and loyalty to his colleagues, residents, staff, and the institution. We were very lucky to have presented this honor to Dr. Shi just months before his untimely death. I am delighted to announce that this year's recipient of the Albert P. Shi Humanitarian Award is Dr. Mina Kabala. I did not share the privilege of meeting Dr. Albert Chi, but learning about him has been an inspiration. This award is an award for character. Even though the recipient of this year's award is an individual who also has great clinical skill, this award today 
is to distinguish this individual's strength of character. Dr. Shi was someone who gave 150% to his patients and his work, always lent a helping hand, placed patient needs above his own, and was an extraordinary team player. The Upanishad is a collection of ancient Hindu writings written in Sanskrit. There is a saying from the Upanishad that goes as follows. If wealth is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. If character is lost, all is lost. Mina Gabala, we hope that you remember this quote and that the spirit of your character persists throughout your career and that wherever you end up practicing, you will continue to elevate what I like to call the standard of caring. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for this great honor. I was speechless when I was informed that I was selected by the department for this award. My astonishment came from the fact that when I look around the department, I see many of my colleagues that are just, if not more, deserving of this award. When there's great rapport within a department and we see each other as family members rather than coworkers, lending a helpful hand becomes second nature to us. I'm blessed to work with people that have my best interest and to be doing what I find fulfilling. This makes work less mundane and more gratifying. After my residency and fellowship training, I hope to join a department that allows me to enjoy working as much as this department has. I would like to close this ceremony by thanking the graduating class of 2021. I cannot express how proud we are of your accomplishment. You are completing this part of your training in the midst of a pandemic. You have shown resilience, courage, compassion, professionalism, values that are surely in need these days. Yes, I know that we all the people think that your generation is really up to the challenge, but you have shown to us how wrong we are. With the repeated rotation to the ICU caring for our COVID patient, with the understanding that working as a team and having each other's back is fundamental to a higher level of care, with believing that raising concern about working condition at our institution only strengthens the program, not only for your benefit, but for prospective incoming residents. You have shown that your generation deeply care about what it is to be a good doctor, a good anesthesiologist, a good resident, and a good human being. I believe that you will represent our profession well. We all are proud to have contributed to your medical education and anesthesiology training. I also would like to thank uh, Lisa for all of the work she has done to help with, with, with this program. I would like to also thank Zeneda because she's been very instrumental in helping keeping us going. Thank you, thank you. So, congratulations. It was an absolute privilege to have known you and to have worked with all of you. Thank you, thank you to all of you.